My name is Luke Kayyem, and we approve the RX jump rope. All right, guys, welcome to the Kayyem Signature Double Under Clinic. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about what we're doing here, why you guys are all here. Nobody is here so that they can get in better shape. I'm pretty sure everybody is here so that they can learn the skill of the double under so that they can be better at the sport of CrossFit. If I'm wrong, let me know. Okay, the jump rope is used for conditioning. Yes, in the sport of CrossFit, we do the double under. Yes, we all want to be more proficient in the double under so that we're better in the workouts, so that we have a better score. But at the end of the day, I want you guys to use this jump rope for conditioning. That means you're going to do singles. That means you're going to jump rope for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. You're going to try different things. You're going to jump around. You're going to jump on one leg. Always remembering that when I go to practice the double under, it is strictly a skill. It is not conditioning, okay? I am the greatest double under in Europe. This is a true story, okay? I have more double unders in a competition than anybody else in Europe. Does that make me fitter than anybody else in Europe? Not at all. I just happen to be good at the skill of double unders. I don't know what it is, but ever since I picked up a jump rope, I can jump rope and I can do double unders, okay? I'm gonna teach you guys that skill today, all right? So everybody has their own jump rope. Um, I am a big fan of the RX jump rope. It has a thicker handle, but I also have about five or six jump ropes, and every time a new one comes out on the market, please show me that one, Cody. Uh, I wanna give it a try, I wanna give it a spin, and I wanna test it out. As soon as my jump rope goes kink on me, here, because I stuck it in my suitcase and I took it with me, it's done, all right? I don't wanna mess with it anymore, I get a new one. These jump ropes are close to 35 bucks. This one's gotta be 40, yeah, that's like a pair of shoes, okay? So you're spending a lot of money to get a higher quality one, but they do help and they are more efficient. I started with this one, or actually started with this one right here. Okay, the Vallejo one, very basic. Um, I think we sell them for 10 bucks, but we're doing a donation for the Jump rope -thon. You get it, you cut it, and uh, you can practice with it all the time. It's pretty basic, pretty easy, but it's slow, okay? This one, a little bit faster, and you notice here that there's a cable difference. So we wanna talk about the height and the width of the jump rope. The basic test to know how long a jump rope should be is that you step on it, make sure it's even, and the cable should go right to about your armpit. Okay, that's just a very basic setup. Some athletes prefer a longer jump rope. I like mine a little bit longer, but if you're trying to do double unders, if it's too long, it becomes too slow and it drags. Because ultimately, I want this jump rope to hit the ground in front of my feet. For me, it's a timing thing. I've got to hear that and feel that jump rope hit the ground in front of me. So if it's too long, it'll just be slow for you, okay? Once you figure out what that height is with the RX jump ropes, you go online and you can order it, custom colors, custom cable lengths. So there's about five different cables. This one is for my five-year-old daughter, Camille. It's very thick, okay? This one here is the one I use to break the gym record. This one is much skinnier, it's lighter, okay? It's called the Ultra, all right? So, we're gonna talk a little bit, uh, but first I wanna warm you guys up a little bit. So let's just stick the jump rope out of the way, right where you guys are, let's circle up, okay? Jumping rope, think about it from the ankle all the way up, right? We don't need to do a ton of upper body movements to really warm up. A little bit through the forearm and a little bit through the arm. So let's start with the feet here. I'm just gonna stand up on my toes, and when I come back down, I touch my toes. And I stand up on my toes, and when my heels drop, I touch the ground. Okay, let's go ahead and do that 10 times. Ankle flexion, ankle mobility, calf mobility, a little bit of hamstring, a little bit of forearms, right? Good. There's no better warm up than doing air squats, so let's do a basic squat. Nice and low. Remember, feel that ankle flexion, get down as low as you can, and stand up. Let's do about five of those.
Good. Let's rotate that ankle right around. Rotate that foot right around. And then the opposite direction. Good. And then switch legs five times. And then the opposite direction. Good. Let's touch our toes and touch the ceiling five times. We're starting to move a little faster now. Okay. The jump rope is going to be fast twitch here. Good. And now let's just jump around a little bit. Okay. I like to jump from heel to toe. Good. Good. Feet together now. Let's jump side to side. Let's do that about 10 times. Jump front to back about 10 times. Okay. Next, we're going to go four corners. So I'm going to outline a box. Back, right, forward, left. Back, right, forward, left. Let's do that five times. And then switch the direction and go in the opposite direction. Good. A little bit more uh, ankle flexion here. Let's go down dog, up dog. When we go into that down dog, I want you to alternate right and left heel like a bicycle five times on each ankle. When you go into your up dog, push your upper body as far away from the ground as possible. Good. Up dog, drop those hips and knees, push your core up. Good. And back into down dog, alternate right and left ankle. Beautiful. And then from this position, a little bit of fast twitch, top of the push-up, jump, and back into the top of that push-up five times. Beautiful. Okay, next, I'm going to show you a little bit of demo here, okay? The single under and the double under do not change. They do not change. The jump is just a little bit higher. So my single under is a very minimal jump and my double is exactly the same. It's just a little bit more bounce. The success of your double under is going to come from the wrist. All wrist. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to have you guys do is grab your jump rope. We're going to jump rope for five minutes. Okay? I don't want you to do any doubles yet. I just want you to do singles. Now, not just a regular single. After a while here, I want you guys to move around. Bounce around, try different things, okay? And get really comfortable with the rope, all right? We can get a couple more people in here in the middle. It shouldn't get too crazy if anybody gets whipped, okay? So, yeah, we're jumping rope for five minutes here, okay? Five minutes, here we go, three, two, one and go. Nice and relaxed. Okay, so put your jump ropes down. Come on over, Tiff. I will have you be my demo here. Okay, so you lose your jump rope, right? For some reason, once you put that jump rope in your hands, everything goes crazy. A large part of this skill is going to be the mental aspect of it. I have a dear friend of mine, Chris Lalane, regional qualifier, great athlete. He can't do more than 10. I know another guy, CrossFit Games athlete. He's a master competitor. He can't get more than 10. So there's definitely a mental piece to it, and we'll talk about that when we talk about the good and the bad. But what we need to do is work on the jump without the rope. So we want to take the jump rope out of it, okay? What I'm going to have Tiffany do here is put her feet together. This would be our jumping stance if we were doing Olympic weightlifting. Toe, ankle, knee, and hip are in a straight line. This is where you're going to jump from. You may go slightly wider, but you're never going to go out here. We're not going to be in any kind of squatting stance, okay? We want to be tall, and we want to be chest up nice and proud, okay? So what I'm going to have Tiffany do here is tuck in her arms from the shoulder to the elbow is glued tight to the body. 
Okay? We don't want to jump with our arm. And we see this happen a lot. From elbow to wrist, there's a little more movement. More than the shoulder to the elbow. Just a little. From the wrist to the fingertip, this is where all the magic happens right here. Okay? So think about that when you're jumping. Think about that when you're tight. We want to be tight through the core, chest up. The bounce is on the balls of my feet. So Tiffany's going to stand up, balls of her feet here. Not going to have her do anything with her arms. All I want to see is a jump high enough that a two millimeter wide rope could fit underneath it. And it's just like this. Okay? That is Tiffany's single jump. Do 25 for me, please. Okay? Good. Good. Notice the bounce. Vertical plane. Straight up and down. Looks like she's in an episode of Mork and Mindy. Okay? If you're over 35, you know who that is. Okay, beautiful. So you see that. There's no big bend in the knee. There's no big fold in the waist. There's nothing. There's no donkey kick, which somebody here has, and we'll fix that, right? But you're not doing this. Okay? We want to minimize the work that Tiffany does in every jump. So everybody here, you are going to do 25 perfect jumps without the jump rope. Go. Good. More bounce, Tyler. Okay, you got to bounce a little bit. Think about a trampoline. A little bounce there. Beautiful. Okay, Tiffany now grabs her jump rope. And she is going to do 10 singles. You guys are going to do this progression in just a minute, okay? 10 single jumps. Same bounce. Good. You noticed number one, two, and three, a little bit went here, right? Which means when we go to double under, she's going to be here, okay? So we want to fix that. We want to make sure that doesn't happen, all right? Beautiful. Put your rope down. Now you're going to do those 10 same single jumps. On your 11th one, you're going to bounce a little higher now. So here's my single jump. One, two, three, ten. Here's my double. A little bit more bounce. Not a lot, a little. Enough for a two millimeter wide jump rope to go under your feet twice. Okay? Ten singles, ten double jumps, no jump rope. Go. Double. Ten. Yep, get ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So it might be a timing thing before we even bring the rope out. Okay, timing's a big part of this. Jump and rotate and land and jump and rotate and land. Okay, good. Tiffany now gets her jump rope. She's going to do ten singles immediately followed by one double with the hopes that she can go back into her singles again. Ten singles, one double, ten singles. Go. Okay, very hard to do, which is changing speeds. One of the hardest things you can do, okay? Tiffany would probably do better if I just said, hey, do a bunch of double unders, but changing speeds is hard. So when we get to the workout part or the homework part, for some of you guys, remember that little sequence right there, 10 to 1. That's what you guys are going to do right now, okay? So here's what I want you to do. You're going to go 10 single jumps, followed by 10 double jumps, okay? Boom. Grab your jump rope. 10 singles, and then attempt your first double under. One time, put it back down, and we'll come back. Okay, go. Don't forget those arms. Keep the core tight. And then bounce. Good. Don't jump too high. Good. Grab your jump rope. Spread out a little bit. I want to see 10 singles and just one double. If you can, go back into your singles. Otherwise, keep attempting 10 singles to one double. Do it again. Yep, if you miss, do it again. Just practice it here for a minute. Good, don't bend your legs. Come over here, get some more space. I just put my legs together, does that matter? 
No, no, that's okay. All right, guys, let me free. So I'm going to call this person right here the skeleton. Okay? You know who you are. There's about three of you in here right now. And you're just uptight. Okay? So you got to shake it out, get some shrugs in, relax a little bit, all right? Put the rope down, and then try jumping back up. Think about a boxer, right? When he throws jabs and hooks, he's not like this. He's relaxed here, okay? So think about that when you're jumping. You need to be extremely relaxed when you're jumping. If you're too tense, you're going to blow up and you won't be able to do the movement, all right? So I just wanted you guys to try that for just a second. Now I want you to come back to the circle here, okay? So we got to talk about rotation of the wrist. For those of you guys who are extremely tight, this is what's happening. Is you're not going to allow yourself to be able to flow. Okay? I don't even know if I can do it here. I don't want to call anybody out yet. We'll get there in a minute. Right here. Okay? Just way too tight. Because if we go to double, what's going to happen? I'm going to pick my knees up. The knees should never bend. Right? Always goes back to the 10 single, 10 double. A little bit more bounce. Okay? So wrist rotation, extremely important. Shoulder to elbow, glued in tight. Elbow to wrist, a little bit more movement. Wrist to fingertip. All of it. My wrists are doing all the work here. I can speed this up. But it's always about the wrists. Okay? So, for those of you guys who have doubles, just warm up a little. Those of you guys who have that, raise your hand if you've never gotten a double under yet today. One, two, three. Three. All right. We're going to do it today. Okay? So, for those of you guys that are just starting out, we want to see 10 perfect singles. And then one double. I don't care what happens after that. We got to get your first double underway. Okay? For those of you guys that have a double under, I want you to practice the sequence 10 to 1. Okay? So this would be more intermediate. This is my life category. You do 10 singles, one double. If that works, try eight singles, one double. If that works, try five singles, one double. For my guys who are advanced, we're going to do the upside down elevator. Okay? So you're going to do 10 singles, one double. 10 singles, two doubles. 10 singles, three doubles, all the way to 10. Okay? We're going to take about three to five minutes to do this, then we'll bring everybody back in. Then I'm going to call some of you guys out just so we can help fix it. All right? Three, two, one, and go. Scream and shout if you get your first double under. I'm going to just call on a few people. I'm starting to see things. Let me pick on Tyler here first. Come on out. So Tyler's got a little bit of this mechanical robot here, right? He's kind of boom, boom, boom. And then when he gets ready to go, he shows us the donkey kick, all right? So come on out here. The floor is all yours. Give us 10 singles and a double. OK, see how low the hands are? OK, the wrist rotation is great. The hands are low. This is too low. So think about that boxer protecting his face. We want to be up here. So take your hands from here to right here. Shoulder to elbow, elbow to wrist. We got a right angle right here. That's what I want to see right there. So let's do the same thing. Hands a little higher. There you go. Keep spinning. I want you doing singles right now. So he's just got to learn to use that motor and those wrists. Same thing. We want to spin, OK? So keep going. When you're ready, throw in a couple doubles there. OK, good. So you rushed it. The, bout, the, the jump was low, right? The leg kick was high, so it was like this. Really, really quick. Think about bouncing up and jumping up higher, OK? Let's do a couple singles, 10 singles. Good. Rotate those wrists faster. And he's a pro, ladies and gentlemen. Very good, very good, very good. OK, so we got to fix the donkey kick, but not right now. Not at the expense of what he just got. Little fix right here. Boom, pick it up right here, OK? Joe, you're, you're, you guys are both downtown Phoenix on Friday nights, OK? Come on out, all right? So let's see you jump a little bit here. Give me like some singles, and then throw in a couple doubles. All right, you guys can fix that, right? Right here, OK? So Joe, relax a little here. Kind of jump around a little bit. Bring it up. Shoulder to elbow. 
elbow to wrist. I want to see a straight line parallel to the floor with your forearm. Okay? And continue. Nope, you went right back. So go back to where you were. Keep them here. Okay? A little bit more spin of the wrists and a little bit more light jump. Okay? Still there a little bit. Okay? Give me a couple shrugs here. All right? Pick your arm up right here. Okay? To where it's in a right angle. Right there. There. That's where I want you to jump from. There and there. Okay? All right? Stay your arms there. Okay? Good. That's all right. Okay, good, better. Timing's still a little bit off, but going back to that place where you go. So what I'm gonna have you guys do now is partner up, okay? You guys have just learned you're able to teach somebody off the streets how to do a double under. Partner up with somebody, have them do 10 to 20 singles, doubles, doesn't matter, whatever you have in your repertoire, and then give a little cre uh, critiquing, and then the other person switches, okay? Just one time through, let's practice a little bit, a little bit of a bounce, nice and relaxed. Um, I have good versus bad, okay? Good is wrists, bad is arms. And, and sometimes it takes something as simple as this, like, you know, the way that we teach our kids, very basic, but repetitive over and over again to understand that. Um, went wakeboarding the other day and I couldn't get out of the water. And I was like, what is it, what is it, what my problem is? Somebody told me my cue was, bring my knees into my chest. All of a sudden, shh, easy day. So for everybody, you guys are all going to learn different ways. What is that cue? For me, wrists good, arms bad. Jump, bad, bounce, good. And that's what it always boils down to. Go back to that basic bounce. If you start to get frustrated and like, you're like, ah, okay? Usa. 10, 10, okay, great. Pick that rope right back up again, okay? You're always gonna go back to that. So I'm gonna bring Fisher out here. Fisher is a little bit, uh, I would say, advanced. <laughs> Fisher has double unders, okay? He's, he, he's got the first double under. He's got multiple double unders. Now, just really picking him apart a second ago, what he doesn't have is the timing and the sequence, and that's what we talked about earlier with listening to it. For me, I am hitting the ground there. I'm hitting the ground with that rope there, and I'm trying to hit the ground with that rope every time. So it becomes timing. Okay? Timing, rolling that rope down. So Fisher's got him. I'm still going to have him do 10, because if I have him jump out the gate and do doubles right away, I know what's going to happen. Okay? So 10 singles, and then he's going to start his doubles. I want him to do five. What's your max? Okay, so Fisher's going to do five doubles right now. He's going to PR, right? He's going to do ten singles, five doubles, but here's what he's going to do. He's going to relax, right? It's only exercise, okay? He's going to relax. In his head. All right, here we go. No pressure. A couple thousand people watching at home. 35 in here. We're going ten singles and then five doubles. Hit the ground in front of you and rotate those wrists fast. Good? So, usually that pickup of the foot is okay. Just don't change that bounce. Always go back to this. I want to see you go back to that bounce every time. Ten singles, five doubles. Okay, step over, do it again. Ten singles, three doubles. Now we're going to lower that range so we take the pressure off of him. He doesn't need to do five. He's stressing out a little bit here. We're going to go three, which will still be a PR by one. Okay, yep, ten and three. And I just want you to relax. Don't change much. One, two, okay, okay, got, got, got a little hot and heavy right there. Okay, give it a second. And this is that whole thing, that sequence. Okay, so let's do 10 bounces without rotating the rope. 10 single bounces and then double, 10 double. Okay, here we go, step over. Easy, okay? 
When you go into your doubles, we don't want to change uh, levels too hard. If we change too hard, it'll throw everything off, right? It's like dropping your sports car into first gear after going 50. So keep it relaxed, knowing I'm going to do three little bit higher bounces. The rope still has to spin. And in your head, you want it to hit the ground in front of you, about two feet in front of you, OK? Don't rush anything. Okay, step over. I want to see a little bit less bounce. The bounce is too high now. Minimize that bounce for 10 singles. It's all right, step over. Almost there, almost there. One more time, one more time, one more time. Hey, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go, Fisher. Come on now. Hold on. We're not done yet. On the third one, you got to bounce higher. So you're going bounce, bounce, not so high. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Your third one, and this is the cue now. Everybody's got a different cue here. Top of your head touches the ceiling. Okay? <coughs> It's all right, it's all right. Those things happen all the time. Yeah. All right, <laughs> very good, okay. Colin, I think that pressure might help here, man. Okay, Troy in the gates is gonna try to beat the gym record. As soon as we're done here, we're going to have Troy jump in so we can discuss high speed once you get past that basic sequence right there. So I don't care where you are, unless you have 20 in a row, you're always going to go back to that sequence, 10 to 1. Once you graduate from 10 to 1, you go 8 to 1. Once you graduate from 8 to 1, you go 5 to 1. Once you graduate from 5 to 1, you go 10 to 2. Then you go eight to two, then you go five to two. So these are all just little progressions. If I tell you to do as many double unders as you can, guess what's gonna happen? This sucks, right? You're gonna walk away because you don't get more than two. So always go back to those basic progressions, all right? So Colin has not gotten his first double under yet, okay, but we're gonna try to change that. Colin's a pretty chill dude. And he's actually a grandfather. Anybody know that? I hate to say that, but he is a grandfather. April is a grandmother. So he's really chill. Nothing stresses him out, all right? We want to put a little bit of a fire in there, but not really freak him out. So I'm going to have him go 25 to 1. I'm going to have him really focus on his singles and just start spinning those out and get comfortable and then go right into that double, OK? Same thing. Top of your head, crown of your head touches the ceiling, all right? Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five. That's okay. Now let's shorten it up. We'll go fifteen. Okay, so I just want to see his motor spin. Doesn't jump a lot of rope before this, right? Yeah. A new skill is sometimes really hard if you don't have that muscle memory. Okay, good. Do it again. Step over. Everybody will do a double under before we leave here tonight. Okay? Two, three, four, five. I want to see a higher jump and faster wrists. Oh, that's a foot. Almost there. Okay, do it again. So for him, it's going to be repetition. We're going to keep yelling. We might even move on, but he's going to keep going. Okay, 10 to 1, 10 to 1, 10 to 1. He's going to beat that in his skull until he finally gets it. Almost there, almost there. So you're not getting high enough off the ground. Okay, so give me five single jumps and then five double jumps. I want to see a bounce. Kangaroo jump, no rope. Okay, kangaroo jump. One, two, three, four, five. Kangaroo jump. Two, yep, back up right away. Yep, yep, good. Back on the jump rope. Let's go 10 singles, one kangaroo jump. Maybe it's a kangaroo is the cue. We'll see. Okay, everybody's got to have different cues. What sticks? 10 singles, one double. Here we go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good. There you go, right back over. Keep going, keep going. One, two, three. Good, relax, relax. Here we go, jump high. Oh, that's your closest one. Do it again. So now he's starting to get the rhythm in, right? He's got the rhythm down. He knows what's going on. Nothing's new here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine. 
Ah, no, 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 no. No gimmies, no gimmies. Let's go. Here we go again. Ah, no gimmies. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And that's one. That's one. That's one. All right. Here we go, Troy. All right. A few hours ago, history was made. <laughs> All right. So Troy is fast, okay? But what I like about Troy's jump the most is it doesn't move much, right? Very muscular guy, but he's also very fluid. He's able to move. So he's just here the entire time. It doesn't change. Number one and number 325 is going to look exactly the same, okay? I want everybody to count because counting double unders is hard. When we have competitions in the gym or other CrossFit competitions, we always ask for judges. I did workout 12 or 13 point whatever, don't even know what number it was, but it had 120 double unders in it. My judge counted 86 and she said, done. Okay, I didn't argue, I moved on. Talking to three other people, they were like, you know you did 86, right? I was like, yeah, I know, but when the judge calls it. So it's really hard. So you don't want to count, especially you guys who are going to do the jump rope thought next week, you don't want to count 126, 127, it's too slow. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, all the way up. Once you get 100, put your 100 behind the back and then do it again. It's the only way you won't mess up on counting. All right? Troy's goal is 321. All right? Cody's row. Cody's row. Here we go. <laughs> 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, eighty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hundred, one, two. That's all right. A hundred. Great job. Hey. All right. Great job. Okay. Awesome. Okay. By no means was that not great at all. It was amazing. Anybody can do a hundred out the gate. That's awesome. He's also got some ankle issues too. So really good job. What did you notice? He didn't move much at all, okay? All right, who else needs to be called out right now to make it happen? Oh, don't make me pull out the magic. Valerie, here we go. Let's do this. Let's bring two together, okay? Mary, come on out. Let's go Valerie and Mary back to back so they don't look at each other to mess each other up. And let's look at just the two variations of the jump rope, okay? So you guys are both going to do 10 to 1s and just continue to do 10 to 1s. If you get comfortable, then go 10 to 2s, 10 to 3s, 10 to 4s. All right? Okay? Here we go. Coaches, everybody here, take a look at the athletes. What do you see? Okay? Don't say it yet, but just watch. Valerie might need a bath and a candle. She's a little... Uh, Oh, third workout of the day. Yeah, she's a little sore. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, Mary, look at that. Come on out. Come on out. Really good. Okay. You couldn't even tell Mary did a double. That's how smooth it is. Look at that. Relaxed. She must have a really good coach over there, Aaron. I said she, form is impeccable. Good. Okay. What does it look like she's doing? It looks like she's doing what our sequence was, right? With no rope. It looks identical to that. That's perfect. That's perfect. Keep going. You're a little too here, right? A little too here. I want to see this. I want to see this. Okay? So I want to see this, though. See this right here? That's where I want to stay right there. And you can come out right there. Okay? Go again. Nice, Mary. What's your record, Mary? One? Okay, so you got to get two. So you're going two. So we have to talk about two before we can move on here. Okay? Okay, so two is, is, is really, once you get that first one, you're like, oh, and I got it. 
What happens with two is just a little bit different, okay? You've got to rebound. And that's why changing speed makes a huge difference. I am going to jump as if I am going to do a double every single time. So in my head, you have to change your mind from going 10 to 1. I'm no longer going to follow that sequence now, and I'm going to think bounce every time. Right away, I'm bouncing right back up. So in your head, you do your 10 to 1, but as soon as that 1 is over, you're rebounding. If you let your feet sink in concrete, you'll never get back up. Okay? See it again? No, you're up, Mary. You're up. Good, good. Okay, keep going. Ten to one. Go for it, Mary. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. All right, it's on you now. Let's go, Val. Almost there. So you're a little stiff back. Think about actually maybe leaning forward a little on your toes. Okay, eyes are always up. Eyes are always up. Almost there. I'm almost there. Relax, relax. A little bit more bounce and relax, okay? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> we'll come back to it. I would actually get a thinner rope, just a slightly thinner one. Let's try this one right here, okay? All right, who would like to contest Troy? Cody? Okay. So here's what we're going to do, okay? <laughs> After Cody goes, we're going to have you split up one more time, and you're each going to get three max attempts, right? If you get three singles, great. You got three singles. If you get 100, 175, and 200, even better, all right? So here we go. We're all counting here. No pressure. You only get one shot here. Game seven, game seven. All right, here we go. Good. Do it again. You're okay. Good. Oh, take the hat off. It's hitting, it's hitting the belt. I can feel it hitting the belt. Hitting the belt. One more. One more. This is your third one. Here we go. Good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, do it again. That's all right, it's there, it's there. What's your max? 70. 70, okay, so everybody knows what your max is. Tell your partner your max. All right, we're going to finish here in five minutes. Tell your partner the max, and then you are going to each get three attempts. Three attempts, no questions asked, okay? Get in here. Okay, does anybody have any questions? Bring it in tight, bring it in tight, bring it in tight. Anybody have any questions? All right, just remember these highlights right here. Extremely important. We want wrist rotation, not arms. We want to bounce, not jump, and we want to relax, not stress. A good way to fix this is drop and do five burpees. Right? Our coaches did that in instructor training the other day. It just kind of helps. Okay? You can do it anywhere except for a courtroom. Don't do it there. Okay? Now, these are workouts. These are all different workouts. These are a little bit more advanced. For you guys who are just getting yours for the first time, these are your workouts. These sequences. Set a clock 10 minutes before class, 10 minutes after class, and say, I'm going to do 10 to 1. Clear. Check it off the list. I'm going to go 9 to 1. Clear. Check it off the list. I'm going to go 8 to 1. Okay? Can't get 5 to 1? Step it back. Try 8 to 1. Great, got that clear. Now we add the second layer, which is that second double under. All right? Awesome. Always remember, you're going back to the single jump rope. What this is thing is used for most is conditioning. So don't get trapped in this. Damn. Right? That's not exercise. Exercise and then practice the skill. And don't do the skill more than 10 minutes a day. My buddy Chris Lalane hired people from all over the world to come in and teach him, and he was, it's just too much. It's just too much. It's just a skill at the end of the day. All right? Um, these are a little more advanced. For you guys who are able to do 25 to 50 double unders, this one's called Flight Simulator. You do five double unders, and then you stop. And then you do 10, and then you stop, and then you do 15, 20, 25, all the way back down. Okay? Elevator ride. 10 doubles, one single. 
Nine doubles, two singles. Eight doubles, three singles, all the way down to one, changing gears. And then, of course, a thousand for time. Or, 10 minute time clock, how many you can get. Or, next week, 45 minutes for the jump rope -a So I expect everybody here to come and jump for 45 minutes. If you're using one of these ropes, know what color you have, know what size you have, and in a couple weeks, once you get your first double, go online to RX Jump Ropes and order one specific for you.